was curious. Manchester is here. It's 28th of February and today I'm heading up to Manchester. Tomorrow is the actual fair. Today is set up. It's about just over a three hour drive according to Google. The weather is awful. I can hear it raining. I haven't actually got out of bed but I've just opened the curtains and it's really grey. And also there's a climate strike in Bristol today with Greta Thunberg so I think it's going to be really busy traffic wise because there's a lot of roads closed. Leaving Bristol might be quite difficult and I haven't actually got any of my stuff out yet. I think it's about half past eight and I should leave probably by about half ten. I need to be there for two so I need to pack all of my stand stuff. I'm only going for one day so I don't need too much stuff however I am staying over in a hotel two nights so I'm going to come back on Sunday. So I've got quite a lot of stuff to do. I've been feeling ill ever since last Most Curious at the start of the month. It just knocked everything out of me. Doing these fairs is, is so tiring. I've had a bit of a cold and stuff because I've been so run down and I've still got a sore throat. I'm hoping that I'm going to be okay. The potential for me to lose my voice is quite real but it's only one day so I'm sure I'll be fine. And the fact I'm staying over in Manchester will really help with me not getting too tired and all that kind of stuff. Best get up and I best get myself sorted and hopefully dodge the rain a little bit to get everything in the car and then get set off. The car is all packed. I'm crossing my fingers, I've got everything. I believe I have. I always get this feeling whenever I'm packing to go anywhere that I've forgotten something and it makes me feel really anxious. But everything is in the car. I just have to get myself in it and get on the road. I've got petrol already. I can hear the climate strike going on in the centre of Bristol, which is about two and a half miles away. I can hear the tannoys and stuff. It's raining. I'm about 20 minutes behind schedule, but hopefully I will still be there for two o'clock. I've arrived at the depot. It's in Archways. The car park is in like a warehouse. I haven't gone in and got sorted yet. It was a really difficult drive. It's taken me four hours to get here. It rained non-stop. Visibility was really bad. There was flooding, there was car crashes, there was lots of really bad roadworks and tailbacks and stuff. So it's taken me ages. I'm really tired. I've had nothing to eat today. It's like three o'clock and I have got a lot of stuff to do still. I just need to really get on with it, but it's just gonna be a really, really fucking long day. Car's unloaded and I've got everything in. I've just been to park my car and had issues with this park. Wouldn't recommend them at all. Happens every time. I'm just gonna get in and get set up now. Shouldn't take too long. I'm gonna wander around and see what everyone else has got. It's a bit dark and cold. I wanna take some pictures tomorrow because I think the light might be better. All good so far, and I'm just gonna go and get some food. I haven't eaten anything today yet. And then go back to the hotel and chill out and watch some telly or something. Feeling quite calm and collected. <laughs> checked into the hotel I went to your sushi for some food at the Trafford Centre I've stayed really close to the Trafford Centre in the Trafford Lodge it's not too far from the centre it's only about a 20 minute drive from the um, depot so it's not too bad it's been a really really long day and I'm really tired I went to M&S and got a few goodies just to have tonight and food for tomorrow because there's not going to be much at the fair itself I'm all ready I just need to get a good night's sleep and get as much rest as possible and then tomorrow set off I don't know about half past eight maybe quarter to nine ish all I need to do is turn on my lights when I get there it won't take me long and I might have a little mooch around and take pictures of everyone's stand as well I'm gonna get some rest and be up bright and early in the morning it's Saturday morning and I'm really feeling tired I don't think I slept very well at all I never really do when I'm on my own I can hear the rain and there was noises in the hotel and stuff, so it wasn't the best night's sleep. But it is what it is. It's raining really heavy, so I'm hoping that people are still going to come out today. I just need to get up and get ready and get down to the depot. I'm going to try and get there for about quarter past nine. Ten till half five today, then it's packing up 
and coming back to the hotel this evening. I'm really glad I'm staying over and that I don't have to drive home afterwards. But it's still going to be a really long and tiring day. I'm hoping that A, it's not going to be too cold. B, people can see my stuff because it's quite dark in there. And that C, people actually turn up. I'm going to get up, get ready and then head on down. I've just arrived at the venue and it is really cold and wet. It's stopped raining for now but it is rainy. I'm hoping that it's going to be a good day for people to come and not be deterred by the rain but also that it's going to warm up with the heaters because I'm really cold and I've only just got out of the car. But we'll see what happens. Priority is getting warm because I am so freezing. It's a while since I got back. I've warmed up. I managed to have a bit of a bath, although the water was still a bit cold. And I've mostly just been kind of zoned out. I'm tired, so I've just been struggling. Just ordered delivery. I've so got pizza, garlic bread, and um, roast potatoes from ZZ. And I'm just sat chilling watching TV. It's quite nice to be staying this extra night. It's been a long couple of days. I'm just gonna chill tonight, watch some TV, get some sleep, and then have a nice journey home tomorrow. This is the first of the day after the most curious Manchester show. I'm feeling really tired. I am laid in the hotel still in Manchester. I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm going to meet a friend soon for lunch and then I'm driving home and I expect it's probably going to take me about four hours. The weather from he at here, outside the hotel, sounds horrendous. It's really raining and really windy. I'm really not looking forward to the drive. I also didn't sleep very well and I'm exhausted from the last two days because it's just been really tiring. I've got a headache and I've got no energy so yeah it's not the great recipe for traveling home but I had a really good day yesterday I talked to lots of really great suppliers a lot of people who I've never met before it was just a really fun day very cold um, but it was fun and I really enjoyed it I need to get up now and get ready and pack up all my stuff which is all over the floor and all over the place and I'm going to meet my friend for lunch so hopefully after that I'll feel better for the journey home so it's going to be quite a long day again but I'm planning on just having a bit of a admin rest day tomorrow so it should all be good I've just arrived home and I have to unpack the car so you can see on my stand it's 20 past 6 it was a really nice journey home actually it was quite sunny not too much traffic so that was all good I had a really nice time with my friend in the Trafford Centre. We had a bit of a shop and catch up and um, lunch and stuff. So it was really nice to see her because I don't see her very often. Uh, I've just got to get um, unpacked and get inside now. So it's been a really long day and long three days, all for like one day of fair. 
and there's a lot of time and effort and energy that goes into everything. I'm just now getting focused for the next fair which is in two weeks in Birmingham at U. It's all systems go for that one now so this one's out of the way and now I'm starting to think and concentrate on that one. There's never a dull moment, there's always something going on and something to plan for. Thank you.